speaking of leadership, you know, how many hours a week do you think Mayor Dave Bing spends with emergency manager Kevin Orr? This week, Bing said about two and that he could give Orr some good advice, like listen to Detroiters more. The mayor sat down this week with Free Press columnist Tom Walsh. Take a look. We've got a whole bunch of people that are catching holy hell, and it's not their fault. You know, it's, and, and, and nobody wants to go back, and, and I don't think it's to anybody's benefit to point fingers at what didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay, so how do you go from where we are to where we need to be? And once again, I think we've, we've got a pretty good roadmap for that. Uh, that roadmap, I think, is, uh, has been accepted. Um, there may be some tweaking that's necessary, but I don't get all hung up. My ego is in such that if I don't get the credit, um, you know, I don't feel good about it. Mm -hmm. I know I've made a difference. Right. And that's the only thing that's important to me right now. I've, I, I know I've made a difference in, in, in the turnaround of this city. And in a short period of time, I think the lifestyle of a lot of our people is going to improve. The mayor also said he's not worried about his legacy and this job is the most demanding thing he's ever had to deal with. And he still hasn't decided if he's going to run again. Um, some very candid words uh, from the mayor right there. And again, the fact that he's still grappling with the, with the notion that he may not run again. But I, I think it was interesting to see him sit there and say, you know what, I, I feel like I've done my best. I feel like I've, I've made some kind of impact. <clears throat> Well, I think he's made some impact. Whether he's done his best or not, I don't know. I think he continues to suffer from the fact that he surrounds himself with really weak people. Um, I think that's been a problem since the beginning of his administration. It continues to be the problem today. He's searching for relevance now. There's really no role for him, and he's not playing the role that was assigned to him by the governor and emergency manager consistently. You know, he's well, supposed is, to be the person What is that? What is that role who, that was well, assigned to him? He's supposed to be the person who speaks about this new reality to the people of Detroit. In some weeks he's all behind it, and some weeks now he's he's um, t uh, attacking it and criticizing it. He just can't decide where he fits. Now, I'm told that um, you know, their offices are next to each other. Yeah. Kevin Orr's and Dave Bing's offices are next to each That's other. That's got to be awkward. In City Hall. And I, Slightly, I'm told, I would think. I'm told they're in and out of each office, each other's office all day long, but that Kevin Orr is finding much better partners on the city council than he is with the mayor, that the mayor continues to drag his feet, continues to resist, continues to, um, you know, downplay all the ideas of what could happen. Uh, I think most recently um, he's been a a um, obstacle in the police chief search, uh, not getting fully aboard uh, that process. So, you know, I don't think Dave's doing himself a whole lot of favors here. Stephen, do you think that he's played the role that he is supposed to be playing? I think I think it's an awkward role, first of all, mm -hmm. and and there was no way this was going to go smoothly, right? The, uh, Kevin Orr is here because ultimately Dave Bing couldn't sort the problems of the city out on his on his own so there's no way to, to but it really uh, wasn't his own it was not like was it him entirely well I mean you're the mayor you're the mayor and mm -hmm. uh, you know I mean at the end of the day it, it's on your desk uh, the success or failure of the city and I think he's owning that I think the mayor is is fully owning that you know he could not get that done so I, I, I guess I'm not surprised that there's some tension between him and Kevin, especially early on, uh, I, I still think I still think that uh, that Dave Bing needs to be in the field of candidates uh, for mayor for, for for this year because uh, you look at what else we have. You look at it's it's always a question of of finite choices, right? The people who are in the race are we co are we confident that one of them uh, can do a better job? Uh, than, than he but and we don't know that yet and I don't want to get down the road to June, you know June or July uh, and find out something that we don't know about one of these other candidates and, and not would, have uh, Dave Bing there. I would hate to see Dave Bing setting himself up for what could be just a colossal defeat. Okay but hang on before be we before we jump into sort of legacy. The, the the candidate race because we're going to talk about that in just a second I want to kind of wrap up the the um, the working together with sure. with Kevin Orr and, and the mayor. You said you think he was standing in in the way or wasn't fully supportive of a new police seat. Well, uh, not chief search. of the whole process. I mean, I, I think, um, you know, what I'm hearing out of City Hall is that, you know, he's, he continues to sort of drag his feet, which has been part of his problem well, the, the, from, from the beginning. The, and but the police chief question is, is an interesting one. Number one, I'm not sure 
why Kevin is putting as much emphasis on on that as as he is. It, the, the problems in the department go far beyond just a chief. Well, public safety is 52 percent of that. Budget. I'm not saying you don't focus on on public safety, but I think the chief question is 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 a little different. I'm not sure that the candidate they have, this guy from Cincinnati, is prepared to deal with. Uh, police in Detroit. That is, it is apples and oranges. And I think, I think the mayor is right to be cautious to say, let's take a, you know, let's take a, a, a hard look at this before we commit to it. I think Kevin might be uh, out in front of himself here because he doesn't understand the policing aspect of, of, of Detroit. Well, could you give him credit for trying to track, tackle something that people are no talking question. about Absolutely. most of all is but safety But that's one of the city? things they ought to be doing together, no question, right? Right. Uh, you, you have right. to involve the mayor. You have to involve the council in that choice because that's something that's going to be here long, long, long after, uh, after Kevin leaves. What's been missing in Detroit for the last several years is any sense of action and movement. Sure. And I think that's what Kevin Orr is trying to bring to the city now is movement and momentum. So people out who are contemplating moving out of the city, city still losing a thousand residents a month, yeah. can look back and say, well, maybe things are happening for the better. All right. Well, you know, time for some new numbers. And I know how much you guys love new polls. <laughs> a new poll puts Mike Duggan in the lead for Detroit mayor, followed by Benny Napoleon. Perhaps more importantly, all the candidates met this week for their first candidate forum and I know that we talked about polls now are just gonna be flip-flopping and kind of going back and forth for the next couple of weeks um, and also had the mayor who has not again officially entered the race pretty low down on, uh, well, these on were, the list. This was a robocall poll yeah. which is you pretty know, unreliable. As, as good as useless. Yeah. Okay and so this is the second that. poll that you say is pretty much good as useless. Well, so what, useless. How, what can people count on in terms of polls? I don't anything? think any of them mean anything right now. No. I mean I think it's early. People aren't thinking about it. People haven't seen very much of the candidates uh, and the polling methods I think at this point these are partisan polls right mm -hmm. these are polls being done and probably paid for in part by by candidates themselves. So what are the polls that we should be looking for? I well, think you gotta well, wait. You gotta wait until um, this one's actually a mirrors poll so this was mirrors right it wasn't a, a yeah. candidate poll but it was still robocalls in a city where oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what does that's that mean? Not, that's yeah. not the most reliable way to do a poll I mean what we know at this point what we can take from all these polls what can we take? is that you've got two Front runners in Napoleon and Duggan, and the mayor is sort of a a wild card in this because yeah. nobody knows what he's going to do yet. And so and I think the, yeah. Duggan and Napoleon in the field, and it doesn't matter week to week which poll puts which one on top. These are the two folks who are going to be fighting yeah. it out. And the question in, is in November. And the question is, if the mayor gets in, what does he do to deal himself back into that into that number? He's got to have some sort of game changing. Yeah. Uh, moment or decision. I that think the says, waiting, the waiting has really pulled him down. I think it might, it in, might in the indecision of it. Yeah. But when you know, when he, if he decides not to get in, where does his votes go? That's a a good. Question. How was the candidate for him this week? Real quick before we. You know, I didn't go, but I did watch the video uh, of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you've got too many candidates as we always do. It's like a, it's like a, a Republican presidential primary. Uh, that's um, right. Um, debate. I think Is that it's what very difficult. About? It's very difficult to to. You know, and I, I don't mean to dismiss anybody who puts themselves out there and says, I want to run for this, but, but you don't have as many serious candidates as you would want. You have some real disappointing uh, things being said or talked about and instead of dealing with reality, uh, which is that, you know, the city's still a mess. We got an emergency manager and we got to figure out what is the city going to be like after this, mm -hmm. um, which you didn't hear uh, a whole lot about. So, all right, we'll be hearing more from them.